Uh, and Paul, thanks for your time. We appreciate it. So this is a very worrying situation that we're seeing, and it's not just in KZN, because Gauteng is also uh, seeing incidents like this happen. Obviously, paramedics are not safe. So what's the next step? Uh, thank you for having me, and uh, let me also pass my greeting to the, to the viewers. So we are very much concerned about these things that are actually happening in all corners of the country, and we've been trying our level best as the organization to engage the people who are relevant to deal, to try and deal with this matter. Remember, this matter is not only for the, 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 the government or the politicians or the political heads. Is actually affecting the community very, very bad. And ourselves as, as community uh, members as well, we are also have, having that concern. Remember, we've been talking to the MECs, all the, the, the managers, uh, actually trying our level best to give them the, pro, the proposal as to how this matter can be addressed. But it is unfortunate because even to date, I think we're still, we've been talking about this thing for more than five years, even to date, there is nothing that has been done. For instance, I can give a practical example about what we have shared with them. We requested them to procure the desk camps because, remember, the desk camps are still going to assist, not necessarily that they're going to pre prevent the, 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 the incidences to happen, but they are going to assist in terms of making sure that people are arrested. Most of the cases that we know, there is no arrest. That was, was, was done by the police because precisely because there is no uh, uh, spot cam that can capture the scenes. So we've been proposing that with them. There's nothing that has been done. The only thing that they are doing, the only thing that they are doing is to have a very good uh, media statement to condemn the situation. That on its own is not a solution. For, 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 the, for the problem that we are having. I must also deal with and talk to the issue of, of the MEC in KZ. And we have tried our level best in several locations to meet with the MEC to deal with precisely with this matter, but she's not always available. The meetings are canceled until to date. Since to, uh, the, there was an incident where one of the very same uh, EMS person, personnel in case the was short, and we requested a meeting to share ideas with the, the MEC. It was nowhere to be found because the meetings were approved and all of a sudden they were postponed until today. So that on its own, we are not addressing the problem that we are currently having. And now it seems as if we are pointing fingers at the MEC that uh, it is wrong and so forth. We are not, but we are saying, let's join hands and deal with these matters because we know very well that the very same MECs, they have powers to procure whatever that we are proposing. Let's have only one item. We are also challenging the minister, uh, by Joe Parsa, that he must also insist of having only one item. For instance, the dashboard camps or the, 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 the vest camps, so that you can yeah. see as to whether this thing will work and minimize the problem. So I, that's one of your suggestions, and I know that we've also been trying to get the KwaZulu-Natal Health MEC to speak on this after she released that statement, but we haven't had any luck. We'll try again tomorrow. Uh, just tell me in terms of uh, the police escort or private security escorts. Obviously, that can't happen for every uh, paramedic or ambulance that goes out to attend to people, but in high-risk areas. Is that not even being done? Because that was one of the solutions that officials came up with. Uh, that, that one is, is, is a failed thing that we have tried and we realize that is not going to work. Remember the police in my area, Jane Fess, in Sukuniland, the area, the, the, the police, they are operating with one vehicle and with only two crews which means four police made. So if you expect them to, to escort, it's not, not going to work. We've been trying that. We're having so many incidences. We know that is, that, that is not going to work. Let me tell you the, the, the second proposal. We said to them that why don't do earmark? Because currently, as we speak, we know the areas that are hotspot areas. We said to them, why don't you get uh, escort from the private security companies and they will escort the ambulances in those hotspot hot areas. It never happened, even today. 
So mm. there's no way in which you can say they, 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 these guys are intending to do anything. All the proposals, all the proposals, we came up with a lot of ideas because this thing is a thought for us. We raise those things with them. Even today, there is nothing. So we can easily see that they are not interested because they are sitting in the aircon, they are driving the blue lights, they are, they are driven around with blue lights, they are secured. So they don't care. So yeah. EMS in the country is one of the, the, the units that is, is, is undermined, disrespected. So that is why the, the, the perpetrators, they regard us as soft targets. They know the Nyaupi boys, they can just stop an ambulance and rob them at any given time because no one cares. But if the ambulance can be stolen, you'll hear the MEC crying, literally crying, because it's a resource that he valued than a woman being. So sad to hear that, hey? But do you reckon that paramedics are now hesitant to actually go on call-outs in areas that are considered hotspots because of what's happening? Yeah, we, we, are, we are always encouraging our members that if there is a situation whereby they realize that this thing is a hotspot, the, the area is hotspot and they, they are not safe, they must not even go there. We know that they, will, they are going to be intimidated because the very same managers who are sleeping at night, they will just intimidate them, tell, telling them that they are going to be uh, dismissed and so forth. So they know very well that they have the, uh, the, the, the laptops tomorrow. If something can happen, they will just issue a, a statement and it's Christmas for them, the, 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 the case is closed. So we are saying the people, our members, if they realize, they realize that they are not safe, they must not respond. Because in, even in, 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 in our, in our uh, protocols, it's stipulated very clear that you must start with, with safety of yourself first. So there's no way you can respond to those areas that are not safe. And even though we know very well that it is very, very difficult because the very same ambulances that we are talking about, they, 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 are, they, are, they, are, they are servicing the destitute community members. So it is quite difficult from ourselves as the organization to say, let's stop the service in total. So it's not practically possible because we know that the poor, the poor, the poor people are desperately in need of that particular service. But that is why we are crying to the very same MECs who are not actually doing nothing, who are blind, who are deaf, who cannot see. So that is the problem that we are, we are facing. Because the president of the country is just deploying people who are deaf and blind, who cannot see the problem that we are currently behaving in on the trust of level. All right. Thanks for speaking to us and the insight. Do appreciate your time. Mpo Mpo President of the South African Emergency Personnel Union.